Ideas are worthless. Execution is everything. The following insight is from the book Entrepreneur Revolution by Daniel Presley. One of the most frustrating experiences of being connected in the world of business is the constant question, what do you think of my idea? My response normally shocks people. I say, ideas are worthless. Anyone can sit around and have a big idea. Few can make it brilliant. Let me give you two examples to illustrate my point. Most Londoners love the experience of grabbing a sandwich from the UK fast food sandwich giant, Pret a Manger. Pret stores are clean and food is good. The service is friendly and you rarely have to wait too long in line. For that reason, there are hundreds of Pret stores and the business is worth tens of millions of pounds. Can you imagine the founders asking the question, we're going to make sandwiches. What do you think of our amazing idea? It's a dull idea. No one is going to get excited about a sandwich shop, not until it's implemented with excellence. Even a boring idea becomes valuable when implemented insanely well. In 2002, Bill Gates was telling people that the tablet PC would be the future of personal computing. So why isn't Microsoft the company famous for introducing us to these devices? They had the idea for tablet PCs in 2002. Steve Jobs didn't release the iPad until 2010. Microsoft didn't implement the idea beyond its prototype. They waited around to watch Apple conduct the world's most successful product launch. Apple implemented the launch of its product so perfectly that they control the market for tablet PCs, and no one seems to be able to catch up to them. In the example of Pratt, a boring idea, beautifully implemented, became a hugely successful business. In the case of Microsoft's tablet PC, a brilliant idea, poorly executed, created no real value at all. The value is in implementation. It's one thing to know that an ascending transaction model would be a good for your business, but it's a dedication to excellent implementation that will produce the results. Thinking about murdering someone doesn't make you a murderer. Thinking about having a date with Pippa Middleton doesn't make you her new boyfriend. Thinking about a business idea, a product or new service, doesn't make you its creator. What makes you creative is your ability to bring it into the world in a way that other people can understand and appreciate its value. As long as it's in your head, you haven't created anything yet. You must get it out into the real world in a way that shows up as valuable. We need to use the word imaginative for people who have a lot of ideas. Imaginative people love to dream about new ideas, but the word does not imply they have brought their ideas into the world. Being creative isn't easy. You need to decide upon the idea and then do everything required to bring it into the world. The process can take months or years to get a single creation completed. It's blood, sweat, tears, risk, and sacrifice. We should separate the dreamers from the doers and give more credit to the people who are truly bringing ideas into existence and dreams into reality. For more ideas on what makes an entrepreneur succeed, please refer to Entrepreneur's Revolution by Daniel Presley. If you have any additional suggestions or tools, please feel free to share in comments or write to us. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe.